happy friday august 27 2021 to god be the glory for yet another beautiful day hey is something weighing you down is something a burden or you have something heavy in your heart or there's some darkness that's trying to come in and penetrate listen today's chapter reminds us that the lord is our light and our salvation there are some people or some forces who are trying to intimidate you or even overthrow you he is your saving grace he is your defender he will rescue you he is your illuminator so he will guide you with his eye says the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall you fear what situation shall you have anxiety about we understand in our natural form things will come up and surrounding circumstances and the Lord will give us wisdom as far as how to respond to situations but also he will give us peace and calm so that we will have a clear head and clear mind. So he is the strength of our life. He'll fortify us no matter what comes our way today. And he is the one who will cause us to be vertical, emotionally, mentally, physically, that we could stand strong in the power of the Lord says when the wicked our enemies came to attack us they stumbled and fell and even though in the circumference or the diameter so much is coming to us and around us our hearts shall not fear because at the end it talks about how we must have our hearts strengthened and the way to do that is in verse 14 wait on the Lord be of good courage and he will strengthen thine heart because otherwise we would have fainted and we would faint in the situation if we didn't believe to see the goodness of the Lord so we have to have our faith firm we have to have our trust in a triumphant stance and even though that our parents might not be with us and they might have forsaken us maybe through their own decision and choice or maybe they have gone on to be with the Lord listen the Lord will teach us his good and right way and he will lead us in a plain path because of all the situations that are with us we're talking about how the Lord promises with you going away no matter there are going to be some trying situations whether it's in class or out of class when you feel alone and the college students feel this when their mother and father are not around but the Lord's promise is that he will be our ultimate professor our instructor our ultimate faculty member we have to wait on the Lord we have to put our hope in him and he will he will protect us and preserve us. What do you have to say about that, you know, going back? I know that, have you had conversations with your friends at the dorm where, yeah, they, they miss family. They miss, especially if they're out of state, miles away. How do they deal with that? Um, I really don't talk to them about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. well, maybe. They don't, uh, say that to me. They, they don't express that to me well. I know that I have had conversations, whether they're in the military, whether they're serving a special assignment, you get homesick. Well, the Lord says to put your trust in him and in the time of trouble, he will hide us in the secret of his tabernacle. So even though we might not have the support system there physically, the Lord will never leave you in those midnight hours in those times where we're just like oh my goodness I feel so alone yeah so we would have gone to Psalms 57 and Psalms 87 and Psalms 117 and Psalms 147 and we know that a lot can 
make us sad and we're praying for the whole situation in Afghanistan where so many um, service members military Marines Americans lost their lives and it's we're just praying and what I have to say about the heart in Psalms 147.3 I mean, we're not even talking about romantic relationships. It's, we, we have a broken heart when we lose loved ones, when our, our friends depart from us. Well, listen, the Lord healeth the broken in heart. He bindeth up, he closed the wounds so that we will be able to still have the joy of the Lord. Praise him, even whatever circumstance you find yourself in. And he will promise to never leave us nor forsake us, even in this situation. God, we thank you, Lord, that you are constant. You are with us, oh God, even in the dark times. Oh God, you promise to lead us and guide us when we're alone, when we're sad, when we don't have any strength, when we are fearful, oh God. So you said, call upon you and you will show us great and things that are beyond our understanding. So Lord... You are our ultimate teacher. We just rely on you. You are our, our sustainer, and you will calm us down when we're feeling anxiety, when we're feeling fear, depression, all the emotions you're acquainted with. We trust you, and our faith looks up to you. And we claim all these great things in the name of Jesus. Amen.